Hi, welcome back to Smithy's Over 100 Golf Courses now, yeah? Hey, today it's the uh, 1st of July, Friday, and we're in Essex, leave it at. So we're coming to course number 94 today, and this is Osset Golf Club in Essex. Uh, once again, I'm playing the Mizuno Golf Pairs event, so I can't film the course when I'm playing. So I played this morning, and uh, I'm just going to walk around, film the holes, have a wee look. So, it's a nice sunny afternoon, let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 94 of 2022. It's Osset Golf Club in Essex. On the tee, the man losing his golfing virginity in Essex. Virginity not being a word you associate with lots of people in Essex. From Kirkintillich in Scotland, Smithy! First hole at Osset, 531 yards, par 5, into the wind today. Quite flat to start off with, I think it's going to fade round to the right hand side. It's a look in the first green at Orsett. Bunkers left and right of the green. Nice big beauty just to the left here on the fairway in the approach. Second to Orsett, par 4, 399 yards. Uh, a wider fairway and then it's going to fade away to the left down there. After you come round this light dog leg, this is the green at the second. Shot in towards it. This is a wee lovely wee opening par 3, third hole at Orsett, 138 yards off the of yellows, guarded by quite a few bunkers down there, really nice hole. And that's the fourth hole at Orsett, Orsett, 338 yards, par 4, and into the wind again. So although it's a shorter one, uh, it's not as easy. Fifth hole at Orsett, par 5, 468 yards. Quite a tight driveway, trees down either side and just a horde of bunkers just waiting down right across the fairway. You can see there. Let's look down towards the fifth green, uh, par five, fifth. Uh, sixth hole, also, a shorter par four, about 304 yards. Uh, one of my favourite holes in the course. We may not be a big hitter, obviously, but no, it's a lovely, it's a tight drive. Then on the fairway, then it's going to fade up to the left, a kind of dingley dell, green. Uh, if you manage to hit your tee shot straight, just have a look at the sixth. I'm walking down the woods. And that's how it opens out to the green tucked away in the corner back there. Really nice hole. That's the seventh at Orsett. Third day the par fives on the front line. Three par fives there. 493 yards. You can see the pin miles away in the distance. It's into the wind today. Bunkers right along the fairway. Very hard to walk today. So this is further down the fairway in the seventh. A hole that doesn't have happy memories for me this morning. On the right hand side you can see a whole host of bunkers there. Three different bunkers I was in in this one. Didn't score on the hole. No good. This is the 8th hole. Par 3, 143 yards at Osset. And it's playing off the wings this morning. It's a tough one to reach. A couple of bunkers there. I just come at the end of the first half. Ninth hole at Osset. 390. Then into the valley up over the hill, bunkers there, slight dog leg round to the left. That's a look down at the green at the ninth. The dog leg comes out, still a, it's a sloping fairway. And it's quite a tough hole. That's a look up at the tenth at Orsett, 354 yards. Start at the back nine, I can't see really much from the tee. Fairway slopes right to left and it's going to level out and then slight dog leg to the left up the top. And you come up over the hill at the 10th. This is the approach up to, you go down into the valley across the bush here. And then it's going to rise up to the raised green at the top. A oh, really nice hole this one. It's a look down the 11, another par 5, 475 yards. Up over the rise, and then I think it's a slight dog leg to the right, I can't remember. We'll find out in a wee while. That's a look from the top of the rise at the 11th. Walking down a wee bit. Again, numerous bunkers in there. We'll see where it actually dog legs a wee bit in a soon. 
This is a dog leg opening out and this is the approach into the 11th super hole. It's back down the hill and then runs up to the green. And here are these bunkers that were sat right in the middle of the fairway. Great hole. Oh, this is the 12th hole at offset, par 3, 125 yards. Not the longest, but it's an absolute beauty. Uh, trouble off the tee if you don't hit it far enough. I just look at the bunkers protecting the green there. Oh, that's a very sloping green. Yeah, I was in the bunker there in front of the green this morning. Oh, that's a superb hole. I think it's a standout hole for me. Salute down the 13th at offset. Par 4, 358 yards. Fading round to the right. 14th at Orsett, 328 yards. Part 4, relatively straightforward. A few bunkers around. Straight up the middle. This is the 15th, last day part 3s, 172 yards. Bunkers at the start. Front of the green. 15th at Orsett, last day part 3s, 172 yards. A lot of bunkers around, you've got to try and slope it in, uh, it sort of fades down a wee bit from left to right. Right, that's another standout hole for me. That offset, the 16th hole. 365 yards. A couple of bunkers down there in the fairway, and then it rises up steeply. So we can see the pin that way at the top. Gorgeous hole this one. 17th hole at offset, 404 yards. Elevated T. It's going to go down and then dog leg slightly to the left. Can't see the green from here. Another lovely hole. Come round the dog leg at 17. There's a view up to the green again. Consistent with lots of bunkers. It's a tough hole. 18th T. Final hole here at Orsett. 386 yards. That's a rise up the hill. Clubhouse away up there in the distance. That's a look into the final green. Pro shot behind the final green. Clubhouse there to the right. Well, that's me just finished on the 18 at Orsett. What a super course this one is. Well, that's in tip top condition. Playing in the Mizuno Pairs events today. I was just on my own, just marking uh, another couple of guys' cards. Found it really tough, maybe because I was tired, but the course is in great condition. Front nine, uh, sorry, front eight, it's a good bit flatter. And then from 9 onwards, there's a, a good deal of undulation. Some real standout holes, uh, the 6th short tricky par 4. It's like dog leg and a wee dingly dell green tucked away. That's a lovely hole. Aye, come on at 12, par 3, what a beauty that one is. And then the 16th, the stroke index 1, it plays away up the hill. That's another cracker. Uh, not a bad hole in the course. Uh, I thought it was uh, absolutely super today. Really rated it. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and for me it's got to be a big 9.25, great place to come and play golf. So that's all from me today, we're in Essex over the weekend, maybe moving a wee bit further north up towards Bedfordshire. So I'm going to try and get two courses in tomorrow, two courses in on Sunday, and then we're nearing the 100, 